Hey there, how are you? Playing some more Simulator today. And today I have done a lot of things before this episode. Last episode we took out some loans and turns out it didn't go well. Uh, at the start of the episode I had like, I was paying 200,000 each day for the loan. So yeah, I had to make some adjust adjustments to not go bankrupt because we were earning just 4,000 and as you can see I have fired some of our security, some of our personnel sitting at the ticketing and yeah, we still need to do this baggage claim area before we come to that and what I have done else is I have got a lot a lot more uh, flights for, for our airport because I needed the money and I made the runway and terminal usage a lot more expensive. I, I don't like it because the planes sometimes get stuck and everything and um, the thing is with this being at this much expensive the flight companies are Get, getting unhappy about our policies and for example the real air we are working with them commercial fees is at 65 percent it was at a hundred percent last time we uh, used like last time we bought renting from them so yeah it, it is kind of causing some problems with the companies and these are sometimes getting stuck and we definitely need some more ticketing people, but for now, I had to do it because as you can see, we are earning 300,000 each day and to not go bankrupt, I needed to do this. I may have a little bit cheated on that, to be honest. I, like, I tried to do some things and they didn't go as planned, so I had to reload the old save a couple of times, that's why I don't have it on video, but yeah, now if we stop getting this pro this problem with uh, paying a few hundred thousand each day, we should be fine with it. I have already um, repaid all, all my loans, and now I'm just waiting for this to end so that we don't go bankrupt. And I think I will fix it a little bit, but yeah, I totally forgot about this part. Not this part, but the runway usage income and terminal usage income. Like, I won't leave it this high, but I may leave it higher than it was before because, like, with a huge airport like this, earning 4,000 a day is, was really a, a problem. As you can see, I have been playing for almost 24 hours now, including the time I have been AFK. So, yeah, I think I will, like, it won't stay like this. I will hire back some of our security. As you can see, we also removed some of the back scanners and everything. So, yeah, I'll just fix fix those in a few minutes when I earn some more money and can do that. And I'll decrease the stack so that we don't have problems with the companies. But like four thousand was really low, really really low. So I'm thinking like maybe we'll, for example, leave this at 900 or something because it was at 400 and 400 with uh, while we are earning 400 from that, we are earning much more money from retail than we are actually earning from the companies themselves and yeah, retail should be a side earning and also we need another cash register in here. I'll just put that in, in a moment. So yeah, um, I'll fix those and I will be back in a few moments for you. So I have done what I was planning on doing. I have added back the ticketing desks in here, the ID checks, the baggage scanners and everything. But I decided that the uh, all like this much fl flights incoming is actually pretty nice for business because like as you can see the planes aren't stopping for each other or anything it, like 
uh, we are still earning the perfect ops bonus from every day as you can see because I have changed it like at day 107 or something so yeah since we are earning that and it's going fine I think we don't actually need to change that so I'll just leave it like that and for the operations I just doubled the fees that were previously done so we are at, like we don't really have much problems, like 81% is not bad. So yeah, and I think this is pretty nice. Like, there are no problems with flights, there are no problems with companies, and we are finally earning some money. As it turns out, it's much easier to get high quantities of money when you're earning high quantities of money. So, yeah, I don't know why I was always leaving everything so that I was earning at 4,000 a day all the time, like, uh, the airport was growing, but I, I wasn't earning more money than I was previously doing, so I have no idea why I was leaving it like that, but yeah, it will be much, much easier for me from now, I guess. <laughs> So, also I add the large bar in here, uh, it's still waiting for its delivery, yeah, it's delivered, and we'll see how it goes, maybe I'll just add a couple more around the area, because, like, uh, around the place, people are still, like, saying that they're thirsty. We have this drink vending machine, and at the cafe we are selling drinks, but, except for that, like, except for this area, we don't really have anything on the other side, so... I'm really wondering why is she always doing that? Like, she is always quiet, 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 and the moment I start recording, she, she starts doing that. Like, okay. Hopefully it's not that understandable in the recording. Okay, I will start, stop talking and wait for it to go quiet. So now actually that I have the money, I'm thinking we should probably like have a big foundation in here and like make this baggage hub a little better, I guess. Maybe we'll just add some more uh, places going down in there so that we don't have to worry about uh, the conveyors sticking in each other and so it won't take much more space like on two floors it will be easier to control so yeah i guess i will be working on that and hopefully my dog will stop barking all the time when i finish with that and uh, i have done some progress as you can see these are much more organized now and i have moved the conveyors coming from the ticketing zone to one floor lower so that we can work in here where we'll have our baggage claim area and yeah i also started the foundation for it and hopefully we can have those rotating baggage thingies without having any problems with the baggage hubs we have yeah we'll probably have problems with those again don't we okay and i like with the ones we have right now, we'll, we should be able to fit two of those rotating things without any problem. And when we have more baggage uh, coming in and going out of the baggage hubs, we'll just move these hubs higher or to the side, maybe. Yeah, we'll see about that. But yeah, let's just wait for this foundation to finish them. So. The baggage claim area is finished, the foundation of it, and let's see what we can do with those rotating things, these corsos. What can we do? We need the from below one, don't we? Yeah. And let's see. For example, if we have one going from below in here, we feel like have towards the wall, should it be fine? Yeah, that way we can fit a couple side by side. So let's put one in here. 
and let's put one in here. Yeah, I don't know if that close will be fine. They have two blocks of spaces between them and people can stand on the sides of them. So, yeah, it shouldn't be a problem. Let's see. We need one more baggage hub for that. Baggage hub in here somehow. How many blocks do we need from that? Like that and like that. Yeah, this should be the distance between them. I'm calculating right, like if we have two conveyors going in here, they should fit like this. Like like this ones, if we have one more baggage thing in there. So now if we have like two way conveyors connecting them and conveyors just coming out of them and going into the baggage zone like this they should be working just fine they are facing the right direction yeah and let's see if they will start working yeah they seem to be working because it doesn't doesn't say that it does have connection and let's wait and see if we have anything yeah yeah as you can see the baggage are arriving the others one also arrived at the same time and slowly people should be coming here and getting their baggage yeah now we won't have people running around like this why do we have a trash bag in there i have no idea and yeah if we like expand these to large ones and have some more baggage depots i think i may do that not right now but for the next episode or in the next episode because as you can see we are earning a lot of money and so it's much easier to have a big foundation and add some more gates and yeah we'll see how that goes so i guess this will be it for this episode i hope i'll see you later and bye bye this is how you understand that you've been playing way too much of a single game the game stops counting how much you've been playing